you go, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Shepard. Are you nearby? Why? What happened? I think our little passenger may not be doing so well. Okay, hang tight, Doc. I'll be right there. What? No coffee, boss? Tell me they're not out. Don't worry. There's plenty. Unfortunately, it didn't make the trip back. Well, that's a bummer. You fellas take a break and go get yourself some. I'll cover your post till you get back. Thank you, sir. You keep those weapons out of sight. No need to alarm any of the passengers. Roger that, sir. Hey, you want us to bring you back anything, boss? Yeah. How about a, a bit of peace, a little quiet, a whole lot of Christmas cheer? <laughs> I'm not sure that's on the menu, boss. Well, then just give me some hot chocolate. Want whipped cream on that? Sure, why not? Just be back in 30. How's he doing, Doc? Not ill, I hope. I hate to deliver him to the top brass knowing he got sick on my watch. They'd have my hide for sure. Health-wise, he's fine. A prime example of Canis Lupus Familiaris. What is it then? Emotionally, he's just a bit off. He's anxious, he's stressed, maybe even a little terrified, and I can't blame him. He has been under lock and key ever since they discovered a special talent at Fort Myers. Hmm. You know, I don't get it. Get what? Well, if this little dog can do what they say he can, why doesn't he just figure a way out of there and be gone? Because dogs' brains don't operate the same way ours do. That's probably why we like them so much. Unlike our species, canines are loyal, and their love is unconditional. Man's best friend, huh? And that's what they say. And frankly, I believe it. Wonder how he feels about us. We haven't heard him. Oh, no. No, not at all. Poking him with needles, keeping him locked up in that cage, shipping him down to the scientific lab for further study, probably for the rest of his life. No, we haven't heard him. Not at all. We haven't helped him either. Heck, we haven't even given him a name. It is not up to me. It's not up to you either. I am a hired hand in this, the same as everybody else. It's not our job to ask questions. It is our job to deliver the specimen where the army wants him to go. So shall be, little fella. Merry Christmas to you. What do you two have? Two coffees, cream and sugar. Oh, and a hot chocolate, plenty of whipped cream. Coming right up. I don't get it, Don. I've been assigned the vice presidents, high-ranking honchos, rock stars, movie stars, <laughs> heck, even Dolly Parton. But a mangy mutt, this is just downright degrading. Look, men in black. Come on, buddy. Cheer up. Maybe next time they'll put us in charge of a kitty cat or a, a bunny. <laughs> wow, bitch. Hardy har har. Here's your coffee and hot chocolate will be right up. Yes. 
FBI. Has anyone seen a dog? This is very important. I saw him. I saw him. Where do you go, honey? You can tell us. You're not going to hurt him, are you? No. No, no, no. We just need to find him before he falls off the train. Thanks, sweetie. Mama, he spoke to me. Yeah, the FBI man. I saw him. Yeah, honey. No, Mama. The dog, he spoke to me. There he is! Go, go, go! Sorry, sir. He jumped off before we could get him. It's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. He just got away. You do realize how important that animal is to national defense. We have to retrieve him immediately. I know. I know. If I was a dog, I'd want to get out of the cold before I froze to death. That probably means that he's down there in that valley somewhere below the snow line. So what do we do? Get on the horn to SATCOM. Tell him what's happened. Get pictures of that animal out to all the surrounding municipalities. I want every law enforcement agent looking for our specimen by nightfall. That's a tall order, sir. Well, make it happen, gentlemen. Can somebody get a chopper in here and get us off this train? I want that dog. Sorry, Jamie. It's okay, Janelle. I'm just warming up is all. You got this, Rorty. Take him out. That's the plan. Don't listen to those guys, Jamie. Hit a home run for me. Okay, Willow, bro. Prepare to lose, kid. I got the fastest ball for miles. Nail him, Ronnie. Strike two. Come on, Jamie. I know you can do it. Make it happen. For me. Okay. You watch. You too, Hugo. Go, Jimmy, go! Go 
guess that's the game. Oh, come on! We're not finished yet. Do know wants to see me hit again? Well, unless you want to play invisible baseball, we're toast. That was our last ball. You can't top that hit, Ronnie. Yeah, but now somebody has to go and get the ball from the Clue Girls. What are you, afraid, Isaac? Nobody's lived there for years. I'm not afraid. I just don't want to do it. Besides, Johnny Bender was walking by once and heard screams coming from inside. And you believe him, of course. Word is, old man Kluger used to stuff dead animals for a living. Like chickens and frogs? No. Big animals, like tigers, hawks, and mountain lions. That's not true. It is. My dad told me never to go in there. Why? Because it's not safe. That's why. He says there could still be sharp needles lying around. Parents worry too much. All that's in that house is dust. Oh, yeah? So why don't you just go in and get the ball, then? OK, I will. You're kidding, right? No way. I'd like to see you. OK, I'll get the ball. There's nothing to it. Jamie, you don't have to do this. Yeah, I do. But what if Omen Kluger's ghost is still in there? Well, then I'll say hello for you. OK, but if you don't come back, I'm keeping your glove. Shut up, Ronnie. If you're going, I'm going too. Nope, you're going to stay right here. Please. I've never been in a haunted house before. Hugo, it's not haunted. Pretty please. OK, OK. But you stay behind me, all right? I will. Promise. Oh, man, I can't wait to see the look on your mom's face. <laughs> Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Miss Gernsback, but Jamie and Hugo have tragically been turned into stuffed animals today. Funny, Ronnie. Real funny. I don't see you volunteering. That's because I'm not stupid. I'm not stepping into the zone of fear. The what? your feet. Legend has it this place is protected by magic. Old man Kluger didn't want anyone ever coming here again. So he buried cat hair and chicken bones everywhere. Once a few days passed, an invisible force was created. One that would keep trespassing kids from ever escaping. For how long? Forever. Shut up, Ronnie. I'm just telling you what my brothers told me and their friends' parents told them. So how are we supposed to get from here to the door? I have an idea. Good thing you brought that extra t-shirt in your backpack. Come on, let's go quickly, just in case the t-shirts disintegrate. Somebody count. Three, two, one, go! Go, go! go, go, go. go. Keep going, girl! Go, go, go! go. 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 Anything happens, I buried ten dollars in the backyard. You can have it. I found it already. What? When? I saw you digging from the upstairs window. Hugo, you're something else. Well, you guys going in or not? We're going, we're going. Yeah, we're going. Hey, the front door's locked. How'd you know the front door was locked? Huh? You just said the front door was locked. No, I didn't. Try the side door. Huh? Screw donut! I didn't even say anything. OK, then. Let's try the side door. Hat could be dark by the time they get in there. I don't see you rushing to help them, Isaac. That's because I got brains. I don't think anybody's home. You ready to go in? But you said you wanted to see a haunted house. That was over there, not here. OK, well, I'm going in. OK, OK. Just be ready to run. I will.
think it's up there? No, I don't think so. Let's keep going this way. Did you hear that? Hear what? Never mind. It's just a stuffed animal. Come on. Hey, Jamie, look at this. Eyeballs. You think they're real? No, but leave them where they are. Why? Because someone might come back looking for them. How are they going to see them? Just come on. I gotta go soon. I'm gonna get grounded. Me too. Nobody's going anywhere. Maybe you should go and check on them, Ronnie. Yeah, they might be in trouble. I'm sure they'll be out any minute now. Whoa! Double whoa! <coughs> Make that a triple. Bro, don't get too close. We might have rabies. He doesn't have rabies. He just wants to play. Oh, come on, kid. I'm a good guy. You can trust me. What's your name? Well, they call me Specimen 700, but you can call me Murphy. Murphy? Hey, he likes that name. Do you think Mom and Dad will let us keep him? No, you know how much dog food costs. How much? A lot. And Dad just lost his job. Do you mean got fired? He didn't get fired. Yes, he did. I heard Mom and Dad talking. Anyways, he's not our dog. Someone probably lost him. Well, we can't leave him here. Come on, Jimmy, do the right thing. Okay, fine. He can stay at our house, but until we find its owner, okay? Okay. Shepard. Ron, this is Cutler. Yes, sir. What's the latest? I've got National Guard troops searching on the ground in nine surrounding counties. Local police as well. Not to mention the Secret Service agents hitting up all the animal shelters. And they're unaware of the animal's potential, right? Except for my men. Everyone thinks they're looking for a little lost dog. Can't believe you let him get away. It was an accident, sir. The train lurched, the pup cage hit the floor and snapped open. And you and your team couldn't catch him. I mean, he's not that big. <laughs> he was like greased lightning. Poor little guy saw an opportunity, and he took it. Yeah, well, that poor little guy is now our number one priority. We need him back soon, lest he fall into the wrong hands, possibly even enemy hands. Yes, sir. What about that tracking chip that we put in his collar? Can't we get him with that? No dice. The iron ore in the surrounding mountains has scrambled our signal. We can't get a fix. Well, somebody better fix something soon, or there's going to be a major shakeup, and you're going to be at the top of it. Do you understand me? Clearly. I'll expect you to call in before nightfall. And you better have some good news for me. Will do. Ron. Find the dog. It's not that hard. Yes, sir. Easy for you to say. He sure is cute. He probably belongs to someone. He's got tags. Maybe they'll say where he's from. Slow down. <laughs> he's really sensitive to those. <laughs> I tried looking at him myself, and he did the same thing to me. More than likely, he doesn't want us to know where he's from. Yeah, because he doesn't want to go back. Maybe they heard him there. They won't hurt him anymore, because we're keeping him. What? No, we have to get permission from Mom and Dad first. But? No buts. We'll ask him tonight after dinner. All right, but what if they say no? Maybe one of the gang could take him. Not me. My mom's allergic to dog hair. Do not look at me. My mom just redecorated the house. And she don't want no puppy messing up with dirt from outside. What about you, Juno? I could ask, but our apartment barely has room for mom and myself. See, Jamie? We're the ones. The dog picked us. You saw it. Okay. But before mom and dad say yes, where are we going to put them? Up there, maybe. Oh, in the clubhouse. Great idea, little bro. Let's take them up. Well, I gotta go. Yeah, my parents get all weird and stuff if I don't come home before dark. Mine too. Walk you home, Janelle? Okay, Ronnie, thanks. Bye, Jamie. And bye-bye, Murphy. Ah!
Honey, are you hearing that? Hear what? It sounds like a dog's barking in the backyard. It's probably the neighbor of St. Bernard. He's always yelping when the kids come home through their shortcut. Shortcut? You know, I could use a shortcut myself. How's it coming? It's not good. Doesn't look like it's gonna be much of a Christmas this year. After paying all the bills, there's barely anything left over to play Santa. Bob, we'll do fine. The kids understand you were laid off. Laid off? It's more like I was unceremoniously fired. After creating more than half of Galaxy's most profitable toys, you know, the least they could have done is they could have given me some of those toys so I could give them to the boys for Christmas. You and I will get through this. You are a wonderful designer. You create fantastic toys that kids really love. Someone will surely come along who recognizes your amazing abilities. Yeah, well, until that happens, we're gonna have to tighten up our belt a little bit. What's for dinner? Your favorite lamb stew, which I need to get back to, by the way. All right, Murph, make yourself comfortable. I sleep here in the summer myself. <laughs> and here's water, just in case you get thirsty. I'm sorry you don't have any dog food, so me and Hugo have to do a little improvising during dinner time. But don't worry, we'll be back later with some really good food. Mom makes really good mashed potatoes. Jamie, Hugo, that's it for today. Drop what you're doing and come to dinner. Okay, we're coming, Mom. Now, boys, no dawdling, your food will get cold. Are we going to ask them about keeping him? Yes, we will. We just need to wait for the right moment. <laughs> When's that? I don't know yet. But until then, keep it zipped. OK? OK. Bye, Murphy. See you later. Well, if it's all the same to you, Jamie, I'd rather have the meat instead of the potatoes. <laughs> did you say something, Hugo? No. You were telling me to keep quiet. I did. Didn't I? Human kids. <laughs> I don't get it. I gotta say, going to all these animal shelters is kind of making me want to get a dog. <laughs> I'm more of a cat guy myself. Less maintenance. Are you kidding? Dogs are way better than cats. Focus, <laughs> gentlemen. The clock is ticking. We need to find the specimen. Don't worry, sir. We're gonna track the fella down. Yeah, two or three days. We may we'll... not get two or three days, Agent. I want both of you to. Quiet. Shepard. Sir, I was just about to call you. I'm sure you were. We're getting close to retrieving the dog, sir. And what does that mean exactly? Well, we've canvassed the animal shelters nearby. We've combed through the existing countryside. Fa la 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 la. La 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 la. That's what I heard. Gibberish. You had one simple task. Find the animal. Yes, sir. In my mind, you've already failed. We can't and won't take any more chances. I cannot risk that animal falling into the wrong hands. So? So I've called an agent Sharp. Sharp, sir? Don't you think that's a little bit of overkill? Exactly. There's a chopper heading to your location at dawn. Give Sharp what little bit of information you have. Understood? Yes, sir. I heard on the news there might be snow this weekend. I say that every year. They're predicting three to six inches. Hugo, go easy on the mash. I'm hungry. Oh, come on, let him have as much as he wants. Since when did you like Brussels sprouts? Last time we had them, you didn't even eat one. Must be growing up, I'm starting to like them. Really? Yep. Hugo, I've been growing up for nearly 40 years. I still don't like them. Bob, I thought you loved my sprouts. Maybe you I love. Your sprouts? <laughs> Dad, can I ask you a question? Sure, buddy. Well, what if you think, I mean, would you be OK with? Oh, shoot, shoot. napkin, napkin. Oh, napkin. That's the second time today. What was your question? Oh, I forget. It's all that coffee you've been drinking, Bob. Gives you the shakes. Yeah, tell me about it. I got nothing to do around here but be caffeinated. Maybe you need something else around here to take your mind off things. Like a hobby or a pet. A pet? 
Mom says idle hands are the devil's playground. Wow, you actually remembered something I said for once. What I need is a job, a good paying job. Robert. Look, guys, you should know that we got a lot of bills coming in right now, and well, we're gonna have to be smart about how we allocate our funds. Allocate funds? Yeah, buddy, our money. Hey, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to count our pennies. You can have it in my piggy bank if you need it. Mine too. Guys, I love you for saying that. I really do, but that's not gonna be necessary, okay? Because we'll be fine until. So when? What your father's trying to say is, Christmas might be a little tight this year. Tight? Yeah, a little tight. You mean, no presents? We don't know. What about a dog? A dog? A dog? He's just kidding. Why not? The last thing we need right now is a dog. We can barely afford to feed ourselves. Hey, Hugo. You okay? May we be excused? All right, boys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're 20 years with the toy company now. I can't even give my kids a decent Christmas. Babe, you've done plenty for them already this year. You've built that tree house and the wishing well. So? So? Don't be so hard on yourself. Something good is coming, I can feel it. So what's the good word? Have you found him yet? Still looking. Sounds a little half-hearted. No, no, I'm just tired and... And what? Well, we just came from one of those local shelters. The sight of all those poor animals locked up. You gotta have a heart of stone not to be affected. And I just keep thinking, if we get our dog back, gonna be trapped in one of those small cages for the rest of his life. I see your point. But that little guy has tremendous potential. He'd be the perfect spy. Pardon me for saying so, Doc, but innocent little animals shouldn't be turned into subversive government agents. That's my job. I get it. I'll keep you posted on the progress. Thanks. Till tomorrow. Come on, boy, eat. What's the matter? He's not going for it. Maybe he's just thinking how good it smells. We snuck this out just for you. Come on, boy. Okay, here goes. Look, he's eating it. I guess so. Now, this isn't bad, kid, but what's with the Brussels sprouts? Wait, wait, wait. You go. Did you hear that? What? Okay, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I think the dog just talked to me. And he said he didn't like the Brussels sprouts. Well, who does? That's not what I'm trying to say. He actually spoke to me. I didn't hear anything. But I did. Heard it. Plain as day. How come I didn't hear it then? I'm not sure. But I'm not kidding, little bro. He talked to me. I don't know about this, Jamie. Not everybody gets my thoughts all the time, kid. Just certain people, like you. Whoa, 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 there it is again. He said only certain people can hear him. Jamie, you know when Mom says about teasing me? It's not brother-like. I'm not teasing you, Hugo. I'm serious. Well, ask them if we can keep him, okay? Tell your brother I'd like to stick around, but it's not that simple. How so? How so what? Shh. He's talking. Again? Will you just be quiet? What were you saying again? Yeah, better have a look at my collar. You won't bite? Nah, I'd never bite you, or anyone for that matter. Hugo, he said he'd like to stay with us, but there might be a problem. What? He said they'll look at his collar. Careful, Jamie. He doesn't seem to like that. He said it was okay. What's it say? It's mostly a bunch of numbers, but it says right here, property of CIA. Wow, the feds! The feds? Where'd you hear that? On the TV. He must be some special government dog. Uh, that's one way to put it. What do you mean? Well, when they found out what I could do, they put me in a cage and sent me away for experiments. Gee, that's terrible. What's terrible? The government locked him up and sent him away forever. That's wrong. Way wrong. You know, you got a nice little brother there, Jamie. 
Tell him I like him. A lot. You go. Murphy says he likes you a lot. Well, I love him. That settles it. He stays with us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so fast there, kiddo. The army wants me back, and there could be danger. He says the soldiers are going to come looking for him. No! He belongs to us. We'll see, Hugo. Come on. You got to get to bed. He'll be all right out here, at least until morning. Ah! Good night, Murphy. Yeah, sleep well, Murph. We'll find some answers out in the morning. I won't let him get you. I promise. Come on, little brother. Let's go. What? Huh? This bus was brought to give him gas. <laughs> I hope he's gonna be all right. He will, he will. Come on, let's go. Sir, there's a helicopter. Yeah, I see it. They want it over the land. I told them Quadrant 7. It's probably sharp. I sense that you're not overjoyed with the new arrival, sir. No, Agent Manners, I am not. May I ask why? Because if Agent Sharp finds that little animal before we do, chances are that dog won't stand a chance. Sir? Agent Sharp is trained to do one thing, gentlemen. Get the job done by any means possible. Despite that little mutt putting us through the paces, I hate to see anything happen to him. He's innocent, do you understand? Sir, you... Let me you... tell you something about Agent Sharp. I've been on three ops of Sharp since I joined the Bureau. And each time... Things got bad, and then they went from bad to worse. And ultimately, they didn't have to. Gee, he sounds like a real pain. Not he, Mike. She. I've landed. Proceed. With pleasure. I don't believe it. No way. That's great, Gray. Are you sure that's what he told you, Hugo? Yeah, that's what he said. The dog talked to him. I kind of don't believe him myself, but he's my big brother, so I've got to. It's true, I tell you. It's all true. You mean he actually speaks to you? Well, he doesn't exactly talk, but you can hear what he's thinking. Yeah, prove it. OK, look at this collar. Jamie, watch out. Remember what happened yesterday? He doesn't like when you do that. Janelle, it's fine. He told me to take a look yesterday. See? Here, look. It's. Just a bunch of numbers. But look right here. It says CIA. It's you know what that is, right, Ronnie? It's the feds, Ronnie. Murphy belonged to the government, but he ran away, and now he's ours. Wait, wait, wait. Just because he belongs to the government doesn't make him a talking dog. I'm not a talking dog. I'm a thinking dog. Huh? Anyone? You over there? Get in the corner? No? Um, OK. Did you guys just hear that? Whoa. I'm not sure. No, it, it, it's got to be a gag. Jamie, you've been practicing ventriloquism or something. Uh, yeah, it wasn't Jamie, OK? It's just me, your friendly neighborhood watchdog. Murphy, everybody can hear you. Too weird. You better believe it. Murphy, why didn't you do this yesterday when I found you? Come on, kid. I'm a dog on the run. I'm a fugitive, and I don't know who to trust. Not even me? Hugo, kid, you know, I thought if you heard me, it might scare you just a wee bit. I'm not scared of anything. Buddy, that's going to change when you meet the guys that want me back. You mean the government? You got it, Ron. Can I call you Ron? Because if they get me, it's back to doggy prison for the rest of my life. I'll spend Christmas behind bars. We can't let that happen, guys. Not going to happen while I'm around. Well, how do we protect them? Well, the first thing you can do is get rid of this collar here. I, I think, I don't know, there's some sort of tracking chip, you know, so they can find me. Easy peasy, like my dad would say. OK, look, it's the last day before Christmas break. Everybody will be watching the pageant in the auditorium. You can easily sneak Murphy into shop class and cut it off there. Right, they have all the tools we need. Yeah, let's get going. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can get this stupid collar off them. Let's rock. Thanks, guys. I'll never forget you for this. Agent Shepard? Agent Sharp. Thanks. I assume you've spoken to General Cutler. Uh, he told me you were coming, yes. I told him I'd hand over whatever we have already. Which is zip, correct? Well, we've chased down a lot of leads, but yeah, you're right. Nothing's panned out so far. 
Well, that's about to change. Here's paperwork authorizing me to take over the manhunt. Manhunt? <laughs> it's not exactly a manhunt. We're looking for a little dog. According to Washington, it's a manhunt. So where's base camp? 200 yards due south. I'll walk you there. Excuse me, miss. Where do you want us to put this box that you brought? Just follow us back to the command center. And it's Agent Sharp. Let me guess. Case full of doggy treats? Funny. I take it you don't like my sense of humor. Worse than the coffee. Gentlemen, the LN 2020. The latest in state-of-the-art drone technology. LN? It's short for little Nellie. But don't let the bumpkin name fool you. She's fully loaded with everything needed to retrieve the animal. Very imposing. So, you're like the ultimate sci-fi dog catcher. So, Murphy, how old are you anyway? Yeah. Uh, dogs don't really keep track of their birthdays. Just like my mom. Right, too. And you've had this power to talk to humans how long? Since I was a pup, but I never really thought of using it until I saw the soldiers. Da, da, da. You were in the army? Not exactly. You see, one night, I ran into these military guys who were out doing what they call maneuvers. Okay, I was out on my own, running through the forest at night. It's fantastic at night. Squirrel! No, no, it can't be a squirrel. It's, it's nighttime. Anyway, that's when I saw them coming. And they had these lights. They were penetrating lights. I looked around. I didn't know what to do. I saw this nearby bridge. It was partially washed away. And I knew if I didn't say something, that a few might, might fall off and get hurt. What'd you do? I tried barking, but they just thought I was some kind of stray dog. You know, which yeah, kind of was. I can see their point. Well, so what I did, I, I set out a mental warning, you know, so they'd be careful on the bridge. What happened? They all heard me. That's weird, right? It was weird for me, too. But see, once they realized it had been me who warned them, well, they came over, and they, they scooped me up real quick, and they took me right back to their base. And when they figured out what I could do, they wouldn't let me go. That's so mean. Yeah. How'd you escape? I jumped off a train. My second cousin did that once, but he didn't have a ticket. Lost his front tooth? That's dangerous. That it is, Isaac. That it is. Look here. Two swiveling 4K cameras, front and rear. Sophisticated bat radar technology to avoid possible collisions. A range of 50 miles from point of origin for maximum coverage. And I particularly like this. It's brand new. A taser stun feature which deploys an arc of power that can easily take down a target from mid-air. You do realize, of course, that there's a lot of places a little dog can hide in a 50-mile radius. I'm aware of that. And the iron ore in these mountains has prevented us from accessing the tracking chip in the dog's collar? That won't be a problem for little Nelly. Her probe mechanism sends out 2,000 microbursts per second. Once her thrusters pick up even the hint of signal, she flies directly toward the source. And what happens when we find the dog and there's civilians nearby? Do we fry them too? I'll do my best to avoid it. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Excuse me, I need some fresh air. Okay, boys, take it outside. Let's get her up and running. Yes, Agent Sharp. Much better. Target program. supposed to be the main sugar plum in the Nutcracker scene later on. Aw, but I don't want to be in a sugar plum. But you have to. If you don't show, they'll probably come looking for all of us. Aw, oh, gee, they can go on without me. Murphy's more important. Better listen to your brother, Hugo. The show must go on, especially if it means I can ditch this collar. Shh, everyone, quiet. Do you hear that? Searching. 
GPS locked. Do what? There's nothing. Searching. Wait, I think I hear it too. It sounds like a high-pitched whistle. I think I hear it also. Me too. Yeah, it sounds like a small helicopter or something. Oh no. Look! Target located. There's the dog. We've got him. You also got a bunch of frightened ten-year-old kids. There you go. Thug it over it. What is it? Ah, I've seen these before, kids. It's a drone. It's like a clone of a helicopter. It's the government men. They found me. You guys got to get away from me. Go, split. I'm not leaving you, Murphy. Neither am I. We're together. All of us. Right. Well, then head for the trees. It'll be harder for them to follow us there. Run! <laughs> Must be a wizard Xbox. Time for the big guns. Autonomy power down to 75%. Look at her enjoying this. I know. Sharp, don't do it, please. You're gonna hurt those kids. I'm the one in charge here. If you can't handle it, Agent, I suggest you go outside and get some more air. And take your men with you. Not the kids. With pleasure. Shepard! Consider yourself on report. Hey, accidents happen. Well, we'll see about that. Plug that in! Power stored, ma'am. Keep him out of here. Yes, ma'am. That's the way it went down. So you just kicked out the power cord? <laughs> yeah. Caused quite a bit of commotion, too. Never thought it'd be so easy to resign my commission. They wouldn't. Oh, they might. This Agent Sharp has quite a rep in D.C. Sending a power drone against a bunch of innocent ten-year-olds? She must. Yeah, well, you can testify to that effect at my court-martial. Gladly. Hey, it stopped! Keep going! We can get away! so sure. No, there it is again. Run! Run! Go! Go! I'm out of here. You got our baseball? My pack. Okay, then head for the lot. I got an idea. Everyone follow me! I certainly do. And pitch it. 
right down the middle. Okay, just don't miss. I won't. I hope he doesn't strike out. He won't, Murphy. I promise. Come on, Jamie. You can do it. Go, Jamie. Go. I have you now. Communication interrupted. What? Wow. Yes! 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 You did it, Jamie. <laughs> Great job. I thought we were goners. Nice pitch, Ronnie. I need to work on my curveball so you don't hit everything I throw. Uh, not to change the subject. <laughs> yeah, uh, me, the collar, it's still around my neck. Hello? He's right. Whoever was flying that drone isn't going to give up that easy. And we can't go inside the school because they already know we're here. What about Mr. Greed? He's got that tool shed. There's got to be some bolt cutters in there. What do you think, Murph? Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, I got something to tell you, boss. And I think you're going to like it. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, oh is, is that a real massage? I've read about these. I can only pay in dog biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we do now? Everybody should go home. I'm gonna throw that collar in the wishing well. Great idea, bro. What about Murr? He's staying with us. You don't think they're going to come looking for him? They can't track him without the collar. You sure? One hundred percent. Yeah, hello, Principal Callahan's office. This is maintenance. Put him on. I'm sorry, you'll have to call back. He's on the other line, and he's got two FBI people waiting. All right. Yeah, well, you tell that little punk to get back to class. How much longer is this going to take? I have a school to run here. As soon as we get the answers we're looking for, we'll be gone. Well, I've already answered all your questions. I've not seen any stray dog around here. Do you know any of these children? Well, of course. These are all students here. What Agent Sharp means is, do you know where we can find them? I'll tell you where you won't find this one. is on our stage. He was the main sugar plum in today's production of The Nutcracker. Pulled a no-show. Ruined everything. You ever seen The Nutcracker? No, I can't say that I have. Well, you should. It's a heck of a ballet. I'm sure it is. Be that as it may, Mr. Callahan, we are going to need a list of addresses. See the kid outside. I've already told him to give you a printout of all the local addresses. Thank you. You tell that little sugar plum. He'll never work in this school again. I'll relay the message. Yeah. Make my day, why don't you? I don't want to get through this while there's still some daylight. Whatever you say. Here's that list for you. Sorry. You out there, kid? Yes, sir. Call Frisco. Get my brother Harry on the line, will you? Right away, sir. Guys, are you sure I have to stay up here? I'm hungry! Well, it's the safest place until everything blows over. I'm gonna get you some food. Great! Just no more Brussels sprouts, okay? Gas, remember? Deal. Okay, see you, Murph. So long, Murph. Okay, high five, high five. Come on, I'm working on this. Hi, come on. There you two are. Where have you guys been? Playing baseball. I figured. Well, go make sure your room is clean before dinner. You got it, Mom. Where's Dad? He had to go to Shelbyville for a possible job opportunity. I hope he gets it. Me too. Me three. And Hugo, I'm sorry Mommy wasn't able to see you in your pageant today. Dad and I had to go into town to see about his work benefits. It's OK, Mom. Well, how was it? How'd you do? I bet you really surprised him. I sure did. All right, well, you can tell us all about it at dinner, OK? Great, can't wait. Yeah, come on, Hugo, let's go. Hmm, I've got an idea.
This is it. Yeah. You couldn't have gotten a better car. This ain't DC. Be happy it runs. Can I help you? Mrs. Gern's back? Yes. I'm Agent Sharp. This is Agent Shepard, FBI. What's this all about? Have we done something wrong? Nothing's happened to my husband, has it? No, not at all, ma'am. There's just been some complaints in the area, and we're taking all proper precautions and going door to door. Uh, what type of complaints? A theft. Specifically, dog napping. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll keep an eye out. We're looking for a dog that might have been stolen in your neighborhood, ma'am. A dog? Yeah. Uh, would it be... Do you think we could come in and just look around just for a minute? Uh, I suppose that'd be all right. Sure. Please, come in. You think Dad will find another job? Sure. I hope so. Oh, come in. Hey, guys. We have some visitors from the FBI that are taking a look around the house for a minute. Hello, children. Are you real fed? <laughs> Gosh, he's youngster, isn't he? <laughs> Very. Uh, yes, son. We're from Washington. We're looking for a dog that was stolen recently. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Oh, we don't have a dog, Agent Sharp. I was asking the boys here if you don't mind. Hmm. Somebody stole a dog? Yeah, well, one went missing, and we're just trying to help locate it, that's all. You guys wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No, sir. Hugo, have you seen a dog? Nope. And neither have I. Okay, well, we'll be on our way. Wait a minute. What about that tree house out there? Ladies first. Be my guest. So long, boys. I know. Where'd he go? I don't know. Is everything okay? Fine. Uh, thank you for your time, Miss Grinsback. We'll be going now. Uh, if you happen to hear or see anything at all, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Will do. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, okay, first of all, they can't spell N. Um, what's that? Ooh, okay, wires, I got it. Mm -hmm. Cigar, put this over here. Use another one of these guys. It's a lot of cigars. Nobody likes to smoke. You know, smoking isn't healthy. I happen to know that, even though I'm a dog. And let's try, uh... Oh, this thing over here, the big thing. The wires on it. Come on! Uh -huh. Diver action here, pine cone with the throat. Okay, let's go. Come on, wire. Let's go. Let's go. This is gonna be so cool. <laughs> not gonna know what happened. I never know. 
I got no opposable thumbs about that. Okay, that's time. It's time for a little nap. Oh, blanket. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh, I needed that. That's a lot of work. See you later. This just doesn't feel right. Those kids were scamming us. I just know it. Oh, come on. That little one was no more than seven years old. Yeah, right, Mr. Fed. He's hiding a lot behind those innocent little eyes of his. You know what I think? What's that, Agent? You need a vacation. To me, this is a vacation. So what do you want to do? Bring him down to headquarters, put him under the hot lights? I've got a better idea. What's that? We're going to have ourselves an old-fashioned stakeout. A stakeout? As in you, me, and that car all night long, take out food and bad coffee. Exactly. I was afraid you'd say that. What are you in the mood for? Mexican or Chinese? We've got action in the driveway. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, 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 what? Do you see something? No, it's nothing. The night is still young. Pass me some more of that hot sauce, would you? didn't say no, so I guess I'm kind of still in the running. <laughs> cool. Yeah. It's good to see you, buddy. It is past your bedtime. Dad? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I know that look. That's the I need to tell you something and you might get mad look. Don't worry. Just spill it. I'm way too tired. After today, I can handle anything. Well, Hugo and I, well, we think we're in trouble with the FBI. <laughs> the FBI have what, for not doing your homework? You're serious. <laughs> what could you two possibly have done that would warrant the FBI's attention? Dog napping? You two? Dog napping? Dad, Dog napping? stop laughing. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, okay, but you got to tell me why would the FBI suspect you two of dog napping? Because we kidnapped a dog. Here in town? Yeah, out by the old Clugger house. Where's the dog now? I'm not sure. So why would the FBI care about some old mutt who followed you guys back from the ball field? Well, because it can talk. Did you just say because it can talk? OK, I think it's time to get back in bed because you're obviously delicious. Are you coming down with something, buddy? I'm not coming down with anything. I'm telling the truth. About the talking dog? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, it can exactly talk, but you can hear it in your head. OK, well, what is it? I mean, can it talk or can it not talk? It's complicated, <laughs> but its name is Murphy. OK, OK, fine. I, I believe you about the talking dog, Jamie. And about the FBI? Yes, yes, of course, about the FBI and the talking dog. What next? I don't know. Oh, buddy, come on, don't worry about it. We will figure it out uh, in the morning, though, okay? In the morning. Let's go get some rest. Okay. Hey, buddy, don't stress about it, okay? We'll figure it out tomorrow. Love you. Good night. Thanks, Dad.
What? What is it? Stand down. False alarm. It's nothing except for your incessant snoring. Hmm? I don't snore. What time is it? <clears throat> 20 after 7. Do we have any more coffee? Coffee. Guys, let's eat. So the FBI paid us a visit yesterday. I heard that. Anything we should know, mister? I'm innocent, I swear. <laughs> I'm sure you are, kiddo. Jamie. That feels good. What? Hey, do, do, do I smell? Is that bacon? Bacon! I smell the bacon! <laughs> bacon. See? Uh. Now do you believe me? Son, I mean, I, I don't know what to say, okay? Like, like a real life talking dog? I mean, what? Wow! You'll get over <laughs> it, okay? <laughs> now, about that bacon. What? <sighs> what is that? Maple hits the spot! You gonna get that toast? Listen, now that breakfast is finished, we should get down to business. And that is? Well, for starters, there's two FBI agents parked down the street surveilling your house. Oh, dear. Not to worry. Thankfully, they're not doing a very good job of it. OK, are we in danger in any way? Not if my plan works. Great. And if your plan doesn't work? Let's just try to focus on the positive here, huh? Shall we do that? Let's try and do that. I'm afraid I didn't catch your name there, sir. Uh. <clears throat> Robert? Ah, Robert. Pleasure to meet you, sir. You got two lovely kids, you know. Yes, I'm, I'm keenly aware of that, um, uh, Mr. My name is Murphy, but you can call me Murph. So, as I was saying, I have a plan, but it requires coordinated, timely action and lots of teamwork. You can count on us, Murph. I salute you both. Jamie, Hugo, we'll need your bikes and your friends and their bikes. Robert, I'll need your car. Oh, hold, hold on, M Mr. Murph, you're gonna need our car? Yes, exactly. Your pickup truck, to be precise. Right, and um, you're gonna be driving it, naturally. <laughs> I'm, I'm flattered, sir, but I have enough trouble with a doorknob, let alone a steering wheel. No, I'm afraid I won't, but you will. Pardon me for saying so, Agent, but I get the feeling we're about to hit the point of diminishing returns here. Diminishing returns? Do you think this country of ours was built by people who gave up when they felt they were about to hit the point of diminishing returns? Well, probably not, but that's not really Probably what not is right. And that's why we're not going to give up. If I had a nickel for every time someone doubted me and I proved them wrong. What? What is it? Jackpot. You sure you're good with this? Good with it? No offense, but this is the most fun I've had in years. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing there, little fella? Oh, he's such a cutie. <laughs> you ready? Let's start her up. Here goes nothing. It's game time. So far, so good. Nice. Now, this is the last time I'm going to ask, does anyone have to go to the bathroom? No! 
Are you sure? Yes! Okay, I'm not one for big speeches, but if there was ever a moment for one... Okay, okay. Let's cut to the chase. Fine. Are you ready, Hugo? I'm like lunch meat. I'm always ready. Now remember, lunch meat, as soon as the old shed comes into view, all you guys immediately pull over and stop. I got a plan that will get me out of this situation and ultimately save you guys too. Assuming, of course, that your parents have done their job. They'll do it. Hugo's right. They won't let us down. Good. Now, when that happens, do not, under any circumstances, follow me into the shed. Do you understand? Yes! Those government agents have to see me enter that shed alone. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah. Won't you be cornered then? Trust me, guys. This is how it has to happen. It's for the best. Okay. I trust you. We do. We all do. Good. Then let's make some magic, shall we? Uh, Janelle, can you uh, lift me up and put me in the basket? Right away. Watch the hair, watch the hair. Ah! Who turned there out the you lights? Go, Murphy. I am blind. I cannot see. Ready. Okay, let's go, go, go! Back it off. All right. I hope you're taking notes, Agent Shepard. What you're witnessing firsthand is a textbook tale. Most definitely, ma'am. Good. If you've been paying attention, you've probably noticed we've maintained five car lengths of distance at all times between our respective vehicles. Yes, ma'am. If you want to move up in the rigs, Agent, stick with me. I can teach you a lot. I've learned so much already. They probably don't even know they're being surveyed right now. Clueless civilians. <laughs> wow. You'd think they'd try to be a little more stealthy back there. Maybe they want us to know they're following us. Yeah, maybe we're not giving enough credit. Maybe it's all part of their plan. Nah. <laughs> According to my doggy clock, which runs a little fast, your parrot should be pulling over to the side of the road right about now. Sounds good to me. What time is it? It's time. End of phase one. Break it, break it. That probably could have been a little smoother. I'll do better next time, I promise. I think our cover's been blown. Not likely. Remember, we're dealing with civilians here. We're highly trained special agents. They don't think the way we do. Now we just sit back and wait for them to make the next move. I think they're making it. Chopper 6, Chopper 6, what do you got? I got eyes on them, ma'am. They're currently headed to north. They've been on the road now for about 15 minutes. Here, I'll send you a picture. Over. Excellent. Time to put on your big boy pants, Agent. No mutt makes a fool out of Camilla Sharp. And I'm driving.
pedaling. What you got a sense of this stuff, Jamie? Faster guys, they're gaining on us. Like my mom used to say, push the metal to the pedal. It's still coming! Go, ah! oh, Mom! Come on, guys! We can make it just a little further. Stay calm, buddy. Stay calm. I'm trying! I'm a dog on a bike! Chopper 6 to home plate, turning back to base. Area too heavily wooded to pursue. Letting ground ops take over. Are we there yet? Well, that was interesting. Anybody got a doggy bag? I was close with those choppers. Too close, like I almost messed my shorts close. Shorts? Yeah, I never got that. Okay, look, um, I'm gonna have to do this alone, okay? I'm not leaving. Hugo, you promised, remember? I don't want it, but I will for you, Murphy. Good. You're going brave, you know. Really think so? Yeah. Um, kids, I, I'm actually at a loss for words here, you know, but you gotta get out of here now, understand? I do. Goodbye, Murphy. Goodbye, kiddo. You're a brave kid, Jamie. Thanks, Murph. You could be a great leader someday. These kids really look up to you, especially Hugo. Now, I've never been good with goodbyes, so, um, Janelle, could you kind of help me out of the basket here? Oopsie daisy. Ugh. See ya. So long, Murph. So long, Murph. We'll see you again. I'm getting worried about the kids. Yeah, I hope that they had as much success as we did. Say, don't try this at home. I'm ready for my close up. It's showtime! That wasn't part of the plan. Where are the boys? I don't see them. There they are. What in the holy heck just happened? Murphy. Oh, God. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. What about Murphy? Well, looks like that does it for the mutt. Seems so. Looks like there's nothing left for us to do but pack up and clear out of this one horse town. Let the locals clean it up. Am I right, Agent? Yes, ma'am. I just heard there was a big explosion. Is he? Yeah. I'm afraid so. Murphy's gone. Hey, Agent Shepard! You might want to stick around for the third act twist. It's a good one. What's that, ma'am? Didn't say anything? Of course not. I did. You should get your hearing checked once we get back to DC. Did you hear that? Get your hearing checked? You know, a doctor's appointment is very, very important. Your eyes, too. You have any glasses? Maybe you would put those on? Yeah, there you go. Well, that's not a great start to Christmas Eve. <sighs> yeah, but at least we still have each other. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay, who's ready for some hot chocolate? Who's gonna drink all this hot chocolate that I made? I can't possibly drink all this hot chocolate by myself. I mean, I could try to drink it all by myself. Let's see. Yeah, that's a lot of hot chocolate. Yeah. 
Hey guys. Honey, honey, can you can you come in here? I need to see this. Dad, what is it? Yeah, what is it? Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Gernsbeck, after hearing of your recent departure from Galaxy, we'd like to know if you'd be at all interested in the position of lead developer here at Smart House Toys. Please review the attached offer letter and get back to us at your convenience. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you got the job. I got the job. I got the job. Oh I got the job. <laughs> this is the best Christmas ever. Oh, I couldn't possibly get any better. Maybe it did. Who is it? Maybe that's Santa out there, boys. What do you think? Do you think that might be Santa? Santa? You're definitely not Santa. Sorry to disappoint Mr. Gern's back. Agent Shepard, FBI. But I'm not here on official business. Why are you here? Just helping out an old friend. Murphy? Murphy! <laughs> Kids, we got company. Well, it ain't Rudolph. Hey, huh? Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, that. I missed Wait, that. Come on in. It's cool. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Ah, feeling the Christmas love. Oh, hey, hot chocolate? Thought you'd never ask. I will get you some. You were wrong, Mr. FBI. About what, Murphy? About not being Santa Claus. Thanks, pal. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>